Welcome to Anime News. Ha ha ha. Uh, really quickly before I do this, I just want to say, uh, I did something bad recently. Uh, something that I have done once before is add an anime to my anime list, watch an episode, something happens, and I forgot that I watched an episode. A while later, I like to clean up my list because I have a million things on under watching, and I'm like, oh, did I watch this? I don't know. And then, I forget that I didn't watch it and think I did, give it some random rating, and then put it down. This has only happened once before, and this is the second time it's happened. With Angel Beats, uh, just so happens. And so I'm currently watching Angel Beats now, and it's just freaking awesome, so... <coughs> I'm still kind of dying. I probably should edit that, although I forgot to last time, so I'm going to forget to do it this time. But expect the next animator rev review to be on Angel Beats. Anyway, let's get started with the news. Um, <coughs> first up, the Yuru Yuri uh, Season 2's trailer is out, and also there are plans for North American manga. Gasp, gasp, didn't see that coming. And if you didn't, then there was some kind of problem if you were following that show. Number two, Japanese fans, name all the anime that you should see before you die. I wonder what number one is. Oh wait, it's Clanet, of course. The best anime ever made so far. Uh, some things that strike me as goddamn fanboys is number 23 is Squid Girl. Well, that beat Gurren Lagann? No, that's not okay. I mean, it was a good anime, but... No. N no. No. That's still not okay. And... I mean, I'm... Oh, there it is. Okay. I just derped real hard. I, d I thought Neon Genesis Evangelion was not on the list whatsoever, but it's actually tied with Torador as at number 9. Okay. Makes a lot more sense. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Madoka Magica is 3, and... <laughs> Although, sure, there's a huge fan base and it's not bad. It's like saying you should watch Naruto, and no. 13 is Nichi Joe, and yet again, although it's good, it's not one of those things that, you know, it's crazy. And now I think yet again I might be derping very. Yeah, Death Note is not on the list. Death Note is not on the. What? But... <sighs> There's a bunch of picks on here I would very much disagree with. <coughs> Blood Seas on here? Is that out? Is that out? If that's out, then I'm kind of mad because I missed that. Well. Bleach is on there, which kind of makes me mad. A lot of... A lot of ones on there that make me mad. Stein Gates? Stein's Gate is on there, but it's a little... Far up at 15. I mean, Melancholy of Haru Suzumiya. I agree, that should be there. Although it should be a little further up. For Gintama. No. No. Gintama is not that kind of anime that you've got to watch before you die. Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. At 36. I hate it. Oh, that was loud. I hated that anime. I won't lie. The animation just bugged me because every five seconds it would be someone with the largest hair you've ever seen. And I mean, like, the largest hair you've ever seen, which should take up the entire camera 24-7. I was like, I, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch hair take up the camera. Well, that was a uh, long segment. Anyway, next up, uh, Square Enix is going to start outsourcing for future development. And although you usually don't want to do this, I think... <laughs> It's challenging to say, but I think this is actually not a terrible idea, according to what I've read, because it sounds like every single last bit of work they were doing, they were not outsourcing, and I mean, a little bit of outsourcing can't hurt too much. It'll make lots of things come out. Uh, yeah, this next one you're going to not you so happy about it. Square Enix says that Final Fantasy VII will not have a remake until, quote-unquote, the original has been surpassed. 
which, by the sound of it, it pretty much means Final Fantasy, the, n the new ones, have to start selling more than 7, or else they're not going to make one. They're not going to remake 7. And I thought something along the lines of this would happen, although not exactly that they would want it to sell better than 7. So I already went out and bought 7, and it's sitting on top of my PS2 over there. Runs just fine on the PS2, if anyone's wondering. I got it for 50 bucks at my local game store. My local, not GameStop store. Uh, next up, a list of Japanese fans, why they lose interest in titles. One, it's hard to watch when the rival is such a nasty character. That's BS. Or the, the bad person is supposed to be bad. The death of the rival can make you lose interest. Plot twists are nice, come on guys. A significant change in design makes a character no longer your favorite. I can kind of understand that one. If you have a huge favorite character that you love, and then out of nowhere they just start acting different, or they're drawn differently, and you stop liking them as much, you know, I can understand. Depending on the anime. Interest in a title at its debut can change when it becomes a major work. I can also understand that one. Information is not updated due to lack of promotion, and you forget that it's there. That's happened to me so much. Abrupt endings. Oh god. Oh yes, abrupt endings. Oh yeah. Lack of goods slash merchandise for a title? Ha that shouldn't make you not like the series. Lack of an anthology or doujinshi or fan-made work. Again, that shouldn't change your perception of the series. Your favorite character's personality changes. We've already kind of heard that one before, thank you. And lastly, your interests change over time. Yeah, I guess. Th these aren't really that great. And then the last one is you get busy with other stuff in life. Come on, this. The last two are really stupid and given. Next up, there's a live-action Kenshin movie. And I already did not like Kenshin one bit. And this is looking like one of those pretty hilariously bad uh, remakes, or live-action kind of remakes. I'm not liking the looks of it. <sighs> Why do people want these? The only one I've, only, only live-action anime I've ever heard about that I actually say, you know, that could work, is the Cowboy Bebop movie, but that's probably actually not going to happen. So, damn that. Uh, lastly... Final version of the 2012 an summer anime chart for Crunchyroll. I've gone through and I've selected out more or less what I think are going to be good. Kingdom could be good. Chitose Get You, I think is very sketchy. Like, here's the synopsis. The story follows an elementary school girl, really, really little elementary school girl, named Chitose, who wildly pursues the love of Hiroshi, an older man who works at the town hall next to her school. I mean, if that's a comedy, maybe? Other than that, I think that's just really freaking sketchy. Next up, Yuri Season 2, of course, you know, I, it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you've seen Yurimate 3D, the second season is going to be there. Uh, I actually didn't get a chance to watch that, so I can't tell you how good that's going to be. Uh, Natsuke, Natsuyuki Rendezvous looks like it could be pretty good. Mm, Sword Art Online, I say... It's iffy. They could, if they do it right, it could be really cool. If they don't, uh, it sounds a lot like Dot Hack, and I was a big Dot Hack fan way back in the day. Uh, second season of Dog Days didn't get to see that, but I hear it's good, of course. Tari Tari, I'm just very looking forward to a while back, and I hope that's going to be good. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Uh, as far as I see, I will I will say that's as far as I think the good ones that could be good 
goes, or could be better than the rest, but every everything has a little bit of potential. It's not like anything's hilariously bad, besides, what was it called? Some Chitose something? Chitose get you that? Ugh. Ugh. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> I, I sincerely hope that is a comedy, because if not, I'm just butter about that. Anyway, <clears throat> that's roughly that. I don't think there'll be a Friday video for the reason, the majority of the reason of, uh, I have to do casting for my movie. But if not, then it'll be a video on the computer, which I've been saying I was going to do for uh, God knows how long. Well, anyway, guys, bye. How do I stop this thing? Nope, that's not the right thing.